After Austin police confirmed to us that a man killed by an officer on Tuesday was holding a BB gun, not a rifle as originally suspected, we're taking another look at the timeline of how this all unfolded in a matter of just minutes. It began when someone called 911 saying a man was firing a rifle in the parking lot of a northeast Austin apartment complex. At approximately 1.18 p.m., Austin Police Department officers responded to a gun hotshot call. Two officers were on scene at 1.25, according to police. One of the officers said they saw a man point what appeared to be a rifle at them. At the same time, there were numerous residents walking in the parking lot. By 127, the officers were taking cover, saying that the suspect was still pointing the rifle at them. The next minute, the suspect allegedly yelled that he wanted the officers to shoot him. His officers told him to drop the weapon. At 129, four minutes after police arrived and two minutes after the officer questioned if the rifle was a BB gun, one of the officers shot and killed the suspect, who was pronounced dead about 20 minutes later. Our number one goal is to protect life. And so our immediate focus is usually you know, where a threat is, as well as who are potential, potential innocent victims that are around that we also have to be aware of. Police have said that there were several people walking around the apartment complex. We still don't know the identity of the officer that pulled the trigger or if they were the officer that questioned if the weapon was a BB gun. Interim Police Chief Robin Henderson said that officer has four and a half years of experience on the force and is on administrative duty pending the results of an investigation. Shortly after APD confirmed to us that the weapon was a BB gun, CBS Austin asked for more information about the officer, including how many hours they had worked recently given severe staffing shortages. A spokesperson told us that information is part of an ongoing investigation, but may be shared within 10 business days. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.